Welcome back to our channel. Picture this. You have built a virtual system in VirtualBox, tweaked it, added features, and now you are so fond of it that you want the same system on your actual hardware. You are in the right place, so stick around. There are numerous detailed guides out there on converting a virtual machine to a physical one. However, many require advanced knowledge and precision. We believe we have a workaround that might just do the trick for you. It requires a bit of digging, but it also means you are in control. Let's dive right in. We have a well-settled Kubuntu setup in VirtualBox. We have added several apps and customized it to our liking. It works like a charm. So, what if we wanted this setup on actual hardware? How would we go about it? Firstly, you'll need an empty USB flash drive. This will be used to copy the entire home folder of your virtual machine. Also, make sure to note down or remember your username and password and the name of your virtual machine. You'll need these later. Before we start, ensure your VM setup is up to date. Now, within the home folder of your virtual machine, enable the option to show hidden files. This is where your system configurations, particularly for the installed apps, are stored. For example, if you open the .config folder, you will find where your Google Chrome setup is stored. Ensure you copy all the folders and files in the home folder and then transfer them to the USB flash drive. Next, install an instance of the same operating system including the same version as in your virtual machine. In our case, it's Kubuntu 23.04. We are installing it in another virtual machine for this video, but the process would be identical on actual hardware. We won't delve into the details of installing Kubuntu here, as we have covered that in previous videos. Just remember, it's crucial to install the exact same version of the operating system on your physical hardware. Now we are in our new Kubuntu install. It's another virtual machine setup for this video, but it would be identical on actual hardware. Next install the same additional applications that you had in your original virtual machine. These are the apps you added yourself, like web browsers, audio editors, etc. Now comes the crucial part. Plug in your USB flash drive into your physical machine. Enable the option to show hidden files. Then copy the entire home folder from the USB drive to the home folder of your physical machine. Choose to overwrite the contents of the home folder on the real hardware each time. Once the copying is done, disable the option to show hidden files. Now let's see the results. Here's our new Kubuntu setup after rebooting. As you can see, it mirrors the original virtual machine setup. Even the wallpaper and desktop widgets have automatically updated. Fantastic! Additionally, the Chrome apps have even duplicated themselves in the start menu. Impressive! Let's check some of our key apps. For example, in LibreOffice Writer, the default language, font, and font size have automatically updated to our preferences. The Opera browser also mirrors 
its counterpart in the original virtual machine setup. And of course, the same files are now in the folders within the home folder. However, not everything went as planned. When we launched Firefox, it warned us that we were using an older version. If you create a new profile, you get a fresh browser setup, not the one from the original VM. If you choose to quit, hoping it might revert to the original setup, the app simply closes and doesn't start at all. This was the only hiccup we encountered. All you need to do is update Firefox through the terminal using the snap refresh command. Once Firefox is updated to match the version in the VM, simply recopy the Firefox configuration folder from the original setup to the corresponding folder on your physical machine. Just like that, everything should be in order. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Goodbye.